So speak to the woman right now who's being called to something. What would you say is the first step if she's feeling uncomfortable with what God is calling her to do? What is her first step to begin to walk in obedience? Yeah, and you kind of are delineating it right there, Jenna. There's only one step. You know, the only step we can take is the one right in front of us. And I think a lot of times, and this is where we get into our own heads too much, we start projecting out to worst case scenarios. We start thinking, but what if, but what if, but what if, and don't trust that God will meet us there. And so I would say the absolute first step is to just stop and deliver the whole thing over to the Lord himself. Start praying about it. Start saying, acknowledge your fear. You know, God says in the Psalms to pour out your complaint to him. You know, the, the mm -hmm. person you're not supposed to pour out your complaint to is all the people that want to sit around with you and, and gripe and, and blame God right. and, and talk about fears. Um, pour mm -hmm. it out to God, because not only does he care, but he can actually do something about it. So that's step one. That. And then the next thing is just take that next step. So my my story in this, Dana, as I alluded to, is I just realized what a control freak I am and how I wanted to step in. I remember going on a hike right here near me. And by the time I was done, I was so wound up about um, situations in my life, beginning with the kidney, and then it spiraled into other things. I came home and in less than five minutes, I wrote down 36 people and situations I was trying to control that I had no control over. I mean, and I'm talking wow. about, this is not, this does not sound good. I'm talking about most of the women in my Bible study. <laughs> I'm talking about every member of my family. Most of them had multiple entries under them. And then it went from there to coworkers, to my own boss, to the people who run Twitter, mm -hmm. to the United States government. And I mean, it's just like one by one, <laughs> God said, turn those over to me in every, and I had to yeah. systematically just say, I got to let it go. So that's, you know, that's a big thing. The other thing is get support from your Christian community, from your friends. When we're all walking through something hard or choosing to do something hard together, we can link arms and we can say, ah, oh, this, you know, it's scary to step out in this, but if I know people are going to have my back, if I know people are praying for me, if I know that they're kind of uh, assenting to the fact that, yeah, I think God might be calling you to do this, we can do it. Um, and it's so, you know, there are so many great scriptures that apply to this well as well. I think of, um, you know, going back to the Israelites with manna, Dana, this was really impressed upon me just in the last week. You know, we see in that story that manna that is hoarded spoils. And who mm. wants to be part of that story? We are meant to be okay. a conduit. You know, if we think of a pipe, God's blessings to us, shoot them out the other direction to people, to the world, to the people who don't know the Lord, to the people in your own church, yeah. in your own family. We got to be passing it on because otherwise um, we're going to be, it's just going to be stopped up and ultimately the blessings will spoil. And so keeping that forward mindset is also really helpful for folks who want to get started. Hey guys, you just watched a short clip of Grounded. To check out the full episode, click the link below.